Alright, I'm going to take you on an adventure around the trader's base. Well, that was a bit of a weird bug. Um, this is the day before the XP wipe, so I would like to, you know, at least log this beautiful base that my friend has built. Uh, this is built by Emrak, also known as just the traders in general. These are all sleeping quarters. This is sort of where you spawn in. All armoured stuff. Now, they've built this base. Oh, I don't know what the code for that one is. Um... They've built this base over the period of this wipe, and it is gorgeous. There's Amrak himself, the legend, with the boobies. I should probably censor that. Nah. This is easily my favourite room. This is the loot room. We've got turrets everywhere that I nearly got murdered by the first time I came in. This awesome open plan setting sort of thing, which I'm absolutely in love with. The way it's all just this, this bridge the most, the way it's all open, Really gives a bit more space to the room. It's just a nice touch. Plus the turrets, they make it intimidating. The only downside is the turrets are so fucking loud. It's a nightmare. But um, yeah, this has been over a period of a month on a you know 30, 40 pop server. So it's not not a big server like Rustral Asia and whatnot. But um, yeah, they've got quite a lot. We're gonna sort of go through each one of these individual cells is an organized loot room. So we'll go into let's just go in. Numerical order. Two seems to be building supplies. Whoopsies. That one's empty. A little bit of miscellaneous junk, which, you know, that can stay in there. Yeah, just building supplies and miscellaneous junk. Three, if I recall, this is the gun room. I was wrong. Okay, sweet Jesus, it's just a lot of stone and a little bit of wood. Fair enough. Four, we have... Not much, surprisingly. Oh, just a ton of charcoal, I suppose. Five. We have a little bit of ammo. Oh, a decent amount of ammo. Some weapon mods and stuff. Now, they, there was a lot more. You might think, over a period of a month, how can there be so little? Well, little, sort of. And that is due to an unfortunate incident where they were hack raided. Where someone used some kind of code locking cracker, I suppose I'm going to call it. And um, the drawbridge, which usually prevents anything like this happening, was left up by one of the drunken group members. And then unfortunately someone just kind of walked on through and looted absolutely everything. Someone is baiting this chopper into the base, which is not ideal. But this seems to be miscellaneous. Like, look at how many sentry terms. Like, there used to be more, I think. They must have placed some more. They've got just guns out their ass, More weapon mods, you know, just rocks and torches for reasons unknown to me. In fact, I'm going to grab one of these and a little bit of ammo and shoot whoever keeps trying to bait that fucking thing. Um, in here we've got first aid supplies. I will grab myself a couple of meds. Just a ton of food. Imagine this food when XP system goes live. You would just level up like you wouldn't believe. Uh, a stupid amount of cloth, leather, you know, oh, wow. A lot of fuel, that kind of thing. Number nine, we've got miscellaneous armor. I'll equip some of that. I'm just grabbing from the middle as this is the day before wipe and it doesn't really matter where I take them from as the organization's not really going to be affected. Grab myself a chest plate. And, you know, they don't mind me taking any of this shit I've built with them many times. A little Pokemon trainer hat. Oh, not, not quite. Face mask. Oh, I'm missing a shirt. Do we not have shirts? Huh. All the guns in the world, all the loot in the world, absolutely zero shirts. Oh, there we go, that'll do. I'm gonna say absolutely zero shirts. That's the uh, armory, I suppose you'd call it. In here, we wow, I actually don't know what they have, so this is impressive. This is actually impressive for me to witness as well. Like, I got given a tour of the base and I unlocked all these doors before I started recording, but um, this is incredible. I just didn't realise the scope of how many supplies they had. And I guess this is a researching room. Ah, oh, yeah, hatchets, pickaxes, that kind of thing. So this would be just a utility tool room. Yep. Wow, blueprint frags out the ass. I'm impressed. And then we're back at the start. All right, let's head downstairs. So get your little furnaces. That's the loot room. And that is positioned... Oh, Jesus, I don't know which way to go. That's the right way. All right, so in each of these, there is like a little stashing point. You know, just junk loot they couldn't be bothered putting away. Yeah, you know, it's just convenient with, with a base this size to have like a little ditching place. Like, look, 
three quarries, just insane. And another, you know, almost 200 things, 2k blueprint, oh, yeah, almost 2k blueprint frags. Just a stupid amount of resources. And it's going to be sad to see this go, but it, I've been fortunate enough to witness this beautiful base, and that's why I want to record this and let everyone else see it. Uh, one, oh, apparently we have another stashing room. With just a dumb amount of... Oh, well, someone must have been having a giggle. That might have been Mordecai. He, uh, he likes everything that <laughs> other people don't. Like, he's in love with the Thompson. Oh! Yep. Okay, speak of, speak of the devil. <laughs> Alright. I will arm those and let nature do its work. Okay, I'm fairly sure... Yeah, now this is where my authorization ends. Now these ones that are locked still is because no one knows the code as they were changed during the hack raid. Or something like that. That was the story I've been told at least. Uh, that is what I need to get out. I don't know if right now is a good time as the helicopter's still there, but we'll see how we go. I'm dancing with the devil here. Now this is the drawbridge system that I was mentioning. Just the scope of this base should become <laughs> very clear. Just the insane amount of resources used. So when I log off, we destroy these, and the entire bottom layer isn't even connected to the top layer. Like, there's just, you know, honeycomb, and I think there's a furnace down there somewhere. <laughs> it's like an entire undercity, almost. You know, we've got... Then there's this system. These should have been removed. I'm assuming someone was just a little bit lazy. Uh, I don't know what's in here. Ah, this is another stashing point. This is where I actually went to sleep last time I played. And here we... I think this is the drawbridge. I should have access to one of the exits. Stashing point again. Bingo. Uh, now this is the exit. I'm lagging a little bit, which is surprising. I'm getting a little bit of a freeze every now and then. But just this, this, like, this is just an entry gateway to the outside wall, which then doesn't even get you to the main base. It's just... the scale of this is in, just insane. And it's so fascinating to see what this guy builds each time. Open up the main... Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this is my home now. And these are being lovingly maintained by um, our brother Crit. He gets online and just makes sure as we open and close these doors and stuff like that. Mind you, this isn't a vanilla server. Like, this isn't modded or anything. This is this is vanilla gather rate. You know, nothing's changed. There's no kits. There's nothing like that. This is all vanilla. <laughs> Which is just absurd. Like, look at the size of that monster. I don't even know what's at the top of it. I haven't been there. Like, I have no idea. I've also got to figure out what got hit by rockets just before. But just, like that, I'm pretty sure that's just a quarry. Just a fully guarded quarry, you know, that's... Just, it's so massive. They've got the armor to armor more of it. It's just a matter of they don't need to. Like, look at these fucking walls. They... Just absurd. 4C4 to get through one of these. Might be 3 now, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's 3 actually. I think they nerfed that. Um, just... <sighs> absolute monstrosity. I don't have admin controls or anything like that, so I can't fly around conveniently like the other big YouTubers. I'm not that uh, entitled, I suppose. Not the word I was after at all. I'm not... I just don't have the permissions. Entitled was definitely not the word I'm after. Please don't hate me. Bit of a mess in the... The fuck? Who the fuck was that? You fucking run at me with a pipe shotgun. The fuck? I actually need that, sorry. Uh, that. Rifle. Was that the same person? Next to that, nope. 
Well, that was exciting. Um, I don't know where her pump shotgun went, and that terrifies me. Where the fuck did it go? Bingo. Oh, fuck off, shirt. Okay. Well, that was more excitement than I was after. <laughs> what were they thinking? Go right next to the massive base and run at a man with a pumpy. Dude, I could have killed you. You were sprinting towards me with a pump shotgun. That's that's not how you say hello. Well, I mean, I'm gonna have to cut this short as I believe I've just upset the locals. Even though I'm the locals. It'd be really funny if I go in there and they're actually from this base. But, um, yeah. This one's for you, Amrak, buddy. You know, at least after this server wipes, you're not gonna lose all your bloody memories. You've got this... You do, yeah, I'm gonna go up to the top there. I'll do a quick cut and zoom and make this look real fancy for you. But, yeah. At least you won't lose the memories of this big, beautiful base. Because it's fucking impressive, man. You've done a brilliant job. So this is how you, um... That's the strongest twig, fuck. This is how you secure it. Now, no one, even if they're cheating, to an extent, can... Like, obviously, if they're flying or something, they've fucking got access, but... No one who's using some more discreet cheats where they can, you know, get through code locks... Uh, can just wander on through. Because people do that, you know, you might not think people have the audacity to do that kind of thing, they do. And it's it's really sad. But I mean, shit. If you've got a build like this to counter that, then so be it. Like, I'm not entirely, like, I don't know how to get into these rooms. These are all locked off, I don't even know what's in there. I know how to get into this one, that's the spawn room, but... I mean, I'm assuming these are all just personal rooms, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, okay, I'm... Uh... Oh, okay. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to show you up here, sadly. Yep, I cannot get up there. Well, sorry guys, but that looks like the end of the tour. Hmm, that's a shame. Well, peace and love, homies.